is uh, 9 p.m. in RTD. It's time to English New Edition. And for tonight's headlines, uh, we have uh, the opening of the second ordinary session so of 2019. So for the international scene in uh, Syria, more than 2,000 people evacuated from the ultimate uh, pocket of the Islamic State uh, in 24 hours. Uh, welcome to our newsroom. Under the chairmanship of His Excellency Mohammed Ali Muhammad and his in accordance uh, with rules uh, 22 and of the rules of procedures of the fifth session of the second ordinary session of the 2019 of the legislature, the National Assembly, this Thursday, January 17th, uh, 2019. This session is was attended by Prime Minister Abdul Qadir Khan Mohammed, Member of Government, and all parliamentarians had for the agenda the examination of six bills admitting emergency procedures, namely draft law number 39's uh, identification of natural persons in the Republic of Djibouti, creation of the national identification number, and establishment of a national register. Draft law number 14's uh, December uh, 2018, laying down the conditions uh, of the entry and residence in the Republic of uh, Djibouti, draft law number 25, uh, organizations of the Ministry of Labor in charge of reforms uh, administrations, uh, draft law 25, uh, establishment of the National Institute of uh, Statistics of Djibouti, the fifth bills. Uh, Number 31, uh, on the institutionalization uh, of uh, crashes and nurseries, uh, six bills, uh, 32, ratifying the financing agreement uh, for the purchases of refined petroleum product. The speakers of the National Assembly in his introduction his remarks returns to the modalities of the emergency procedures that he specified. Uh, the different uh, stimulation is uh, set out uh, in Rule uh, 41, so on the rules procedure. On the whole of the text, these discussions were consequent and according uh, to the debates, the parliamentarian gave a uh, favorable result to the adoption of the text. Uh, before the adoption is, uh, of the bills uh, on the agenda, this morning's uh, regular session intense but uh, constructive debate took place uh, between parliamentarian and member of government. Clarifications were requested on the introductions of the system of identifications of persons in Djibouti and the conditions of state in our country. Because the statistical data did not take place uh, in optimal conditions, uh, some, dip some member of parliament uh, of the region asked to return to the national uh, census of the population carried out by the DZ. Uh, the, number, the member of the government justified uh, the contents of the draft law on their respective department, the system of identifying person, the national member, and the national register is part of a process of uh, globalization. Is, uh, and concern both nationals and the foreign in our country. In addition uh, to the member of the government, Prime Minister has stepped out uh, the, to give uh, parliamentarians uh, insight into the genesis of uh, objectives of the bills uh, on the agenda this morning at the National Assembly. The system of identification and the register will be important in order to reach uh, a census of, uh, on which will be carried out uh, on the whole territory. He said that the changes of the National Statistical Office into the Autonomous uh, Institute will strengthen the credibility of uh, donors with quality statistical productions. The creation is, uh, of the Statistical Institute will be a good opportunity for the establishment of reliable data. All institutions must accompany this process by sending their data to the commissioners of the plane. 
The Prime Minister Abdul Qadir Kamil Mohammed has uh, received yesterday in the Hall of the Honours of the Prime Minister a high ranking delegation is led by Sheikh Mansour bin Musallam, President of the Foundation is for Ed of to Education, Education Relief Foundation, introduced by the Minister of National Education and Vocational Training, Mustafa Mohammed Mahmoud. The meeting was attended by the Technical Advisor to the Prime Minister. Mr. Ali Silai and senior officials of the men for the president of the Education Relief Edu Foundation briefed the Prime Minister uh, briefly on the concept of balanced and inclusive education for all that his foundations promote around the world and Djibouti is at the forefront. Uh, the Prime Minister has mentioned the integration of the refugee children's uh, education is in the national system of Djibouti, inclusive education being at the heart of the education policy on the President uh, of the Republic to ensure vulnerable and uh, disadvantaged uh, groups such as uh, children, refugees, the same chances of uh, learning the concept of balanced and inclusive education fits well with the visions of uh, Djibouti, concluded Abdul Khadir Kamil Mohammed, the president of the foundation is of the Education Relief Foundation, the NGO Foundation for Assistance to Education is uh, Sheikh Mansour bin Musallam. Today became a tower in various ministerial departments. The Minister of uh, Economy and Finance, Yas Musa Dawali, was first visit uh, today by a delegation of high rank Education Relief Foundation. Led, led uh, by its uh, president, Sheikh Mansour bin Musallam, the minister was surrounded by senior officials of the cabinet. Note that this meeting is part of, of an official visit of the delegations of ERF uh, in its present in our country. During the week of January, the minister of national education and vocational training, Mustafa Mohammed uh, Mahmoud, then made a broad presentation uh, on the achievement of the MENFOP in terms of policy of quality enhancement and inclusive uh, inclusions of the education system in the 10 years to come up. Uh, finally, the president of the foundation is of ERF, uh, Sheikh Mansour bin Mohammed uh, bin Musallam, was received by the Secretary of State for Sexual Affairs, uh, Muna Osman Aden. During his towers uh, this morning, the president of the ERF Foundation, Sheikh Mansour bin Musallam, thanked the Deputy Minister for their welcomes and paid tribute to them for their actions in favor of a quality and inclusive uh, school. Sheikh Mansour bin Musallam also made a uh, debriefing uh, briefings on the day yesterday that we was uh, rich in important uh, activity in the socio-economic educational file in Obok. The Minister of uh, Muslim Affairs, Culture and uh, Waqf, Mumin Hassan Barre, has received today in his office a delegation led by the Director General of Culture and Art of, of uh, Yunnan uh, Proven Province, China, accompanied by the accredited Chinese ambassador to Djibouti, Zhuo Rui Chang. This delegation is staying in our country on the occasions of the celebration is marking the fourth uh, anniversary of the establishment of diplomatic relations between the People's Republic of China and the Republic of Djibouti. The minister was wel welcomed to the Chinese uh, delegation, emphasizing that this event falls within the framework of uh, strengthening the sino djiboutian friendship. Uh, it will also contribute to further consolidating the cooperation uh, between uh, the cooperation ties between Djibouti and Beijing in the various areas of the department. The minister emphasized the role of uh, culture and artistic exchanges in promoting popular diplomacy that will bring people and cultures closer together. 
the Secretary of State uh, in charge of social affairs uh, in uh, continuity of its activities of the week, uh, the social actions organized uh, a meeting and of the team of uh, achievement and perspectives by the S uh, Secretary of State for Social Affairs uh, on the bottom of the national solidarity this Wednesday. January 16th at uh, the People's Palace, uh, chaired by the Secretary of State uh, for Social Affairs, uh, Ms. Uh, Muna Osman Aden, in the presence of the Secretary General of the Minister, Ms. Iflah Ali Ahmed, and the Executive Officers uh, of the Department, the technical and financial partners of the various uh, public institutions, uh, parastatal and uh, NGOs, uh, such as uh, Djibouti Telecom, uh, Djibouti Airport, the Chamber of Commerce, the World Food Program. The purpose of this meeting was to dissect uh, and explain to the technical and financial partner where donors uh, the mechanism for funding social programs, the cost of the national strategy for the social protection 2018-2022, as well as the prospect realized during of these years. Indeed, various programs were discussed during this meeting, such as social assistance program, one of the assistance programs such as uh, disaster relief, the program of support for students for the region so of the interior, as well as programs uh, disability students, as he has insurance programs, pass uh, uh, cash uh, transfer as well as uh, other programs, namely the development of the employment, opportunities for economic development and technical and vocational training in close collaboration with the MENFOPA. The African Peer uh, Review Mechanism in Djibouti has continued this meeting with the various political actors in the country. This uh, mission is which will take place uh, a week during which uh, the experts will have uh, to impregnate practices of the good governance met uh, this time the private sector, in particular the president of the Chamber of Commerce, Ms., uh, Mr. Yusuf uh, Musadawale. The discussions uh, during this meeting focus on how the private sector should play a leading role in the development of local communities, the demobilization of the resources of local authority, the capacity building in human financial and material resources, improving mm, financial management. The head of the delegation, Ms. Fatma Zohra Kharaja, emphasized that this private that the private sector must develop in the community to empower the region to transcend their economic framework that the regions are building on the e exploitation of their potential. The president of the Chamber of Commerce, uh, Yusuf Musa Dawale, has stressed the private sector to spare no effort for the development in of local authorities and adopted uh, incentives. Uh, the promotion of Djiboutian tourism is landscape in the, the world of cinema and, uh, and the opening of the cinema to the international scene, especially the Cannes Film Festival, was the objective of a press conference held this morning of the, at the Office of National Tourism. The president of the Cannes Festival African, uh, Ms. Karin Berkeley, was, uh, who responded to journalists alongside the director of the Jewish Ms. Lula Ali Ibrahim, the Director of Tourism, Mr. Osman Abdi Mohammed, the Director of Culture, will also attend this uh, press uh, conference. Uh, Djibouti, known for its uh, breathtaking scenery, must incorporate as a backshop uh, in the movies. Uh, this would be an important source of uh, inspiration and a factor of influences for travelers, and thus the Republic of Djibouti in its majestic landscape could take advantage of this uh, opportunity. Ms. Uh, Karin uh, Barclay, president of the African uh, Pavilion uh, area, in, his, in her speech, she explained first uh, of all of the purpose of her visit uh, to offer a renowned platform in Djibouti to the fuel uh, middle of uh, the screams of the 
director of the cinema, but also of the international showbiz. Uh, this meeting, you must know that uh, it is uh, the Cannes Festival. For the international scene in uh, Syria, more than 2,000 people evacuated from the last uh, ISIS pa pocket in 24 hours. More than 2,000 people, including dozens of fighters from the Islamic State group, were evacuated on the Wednesday from ISIS uh, extremist pocket uh, in eastern Syria. As fighting continues to dislodge jihadists from the area, according to the NGO, some Thousands of people, mostly women and children, including 18 jihadists, left to stay the last pockets uh, on the ISIS in the province of uh, Derezor, told AFP, the director of the Syrian Observatory of Human Rights, uh, Rami Abdul Rahman, stating that the half of them were Iraqi. This uh, new wave of evacuation brings to hardly the number of evacuated in 24 hours, including 118 jihadists, he added. And uh, this is it uh, for the news. Thanks uh, for watching us. Have a good evening.